I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, books, books. I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today I'm doing a tag video I wasn't tagged to do. But Ariel Bissett did this really awesome tag called Ruler of, what is it? Ruler of Books tag. And I was like, ooh, I need to do it. And ooh, I need to choose different books than I normally would. Let's see how that works out. Number one is what book would you make everyone read? For this, I immediately knew what it was. I picked Revolver by Marcus Sedgwick. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't talk enough about it, but I love this short, beautiful book. It's written gorgeous and it's so hard hitting. I went into this not knowing what it was. So if you ever see this, cause I got this for a dollar at the dollar store. So look at your dollar stores, go to Goodwill, whatever you gotta do. If you ever see this and you're interested in it, just know it's intense and it takes, it's just really intense and it's beautiful and it's just the writing. I just feel like everyone needs to read this, whether you like it or you dislike it, just go out, read it because it's amazing. Number two, what would you abolish in book construction? This. Why is it there's hard covers like this, but then there's hard covers like like why can't all hard covers be like this, where there's no slip cover? That's just the book. Get rid of slip covers because then if you lose it or you rip it, you don't have to worry about not having it because guess what? It was never there to begin with. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that much better. Number three is what author would you commission to write you any book? I had to pick two people. Okay, because I will never shut up about this. Uh, Stephanie Meyer, give me the sequels to the host. Throw that out there real quick. But no, seriously, I have been loving James Frank and Nils Johnson Shelton's writing because I don't know who's who in this. I would love it if these two authors would write a high fantasy series because this is like dystopian end of the world post-apocalyptic sci-fi type thing going on I want like fantasy I want you to take me way back to the days and just I, I feel like they would give me like uh, the, the gruesome and amazing miss like faux shits. I need that like now in my life though I really really want like or like a really badass historical fiction type thing doesn't matter just give me swords and give me treachery and you know like kings and queens and I'm just like yeah. Number four is what book would you demote to the library basement to make room for new books? Ah, unpopular opinion alert. Uh, Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. <sighs> They're okay. Like I need to reread this so I can lower my rating for this. I didn't really care for it, but it's a beautiful cover. I love it. And this one, it was just like, whatever. But you guys know I don't really care for middle grade. And I was not what I was expecting. And it was just kind of like, meh. Basement. And then also, like, all the way to the bottom of the basement where no one could ever see it, I would put Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Number five is, what cover artist would you commission to make a mural? This one is really hard because, example A, A, I really love Revolver. Like, that is stunning. Stunning. But then, oh, some of my absolute favorite book covers come from this entire series. Like, especially the original covers. Like, I love the use of color and, like, it's just so good. And then there's Shiny. Drops my phone. But you didn't die. Number six is what character's face would you put on a coin? Ha! Huh. Ah. Uh, uh. I would make it like the heads would be Jamie Frazier and then the tails would be Severo. I, I tried my hardest not to mention those two, but at least it was for this question. I think that would be awesome. And number seven is what book would you award the Ruler of Books 2016 prize to? I just talked about some of my absolute favorite books and I'll link that like down below so you can see. And I wanted to choose something different and I went with an underdog for this award because I feel like I wish people would give it another try and maybe look at it from a different aspect. But I really personally enjoyed this book and I think for what it's aimed to, which is extremely younger readers like teens, 
I think it's a great starter and I highly recommend it if you're younger and you haven't read it or if you've read it to reread it or if you've never read it because you've heard crappy things to read it because you know why not let's give some love to the underdogs and that would be Fetched by Ali Condi. Again, I really do think that this book is underrated for sure. And it's looked at for all the wrong reasons. Like I can see that when you go into this, why someone would be a little disappointed because you're expecting a huge thing with like a love triangle. But guess what? It's done with taste. The politics in this are subtle, but really good. I love the weight of words to this story. And I just think, we, I wish people would give it another try. If you still dislike it, you still dislike it. I understand you can't force yourself to like something, hence why Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is on my list, and Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief. But I like this one. It has hidden little subliminal messages about like fucked up governments and things as such. I don't know. I wanted to choose something different, and I do believe though it deserves a points. Not in that way, but like give it a try. And if you do and you hate it, I'm really sorry. Oh, that is the book tag. I thought it was actually a really good book tag and I was like I need to choose different books for this but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Answer the questions down below if you'd like to or if you have a channel and you do this video you should probably let Ariel know but then let, like, let me know down below too because I'd like to see it but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.